Now, another interesting uh, filter is box filter. Uh, this we have seen earlier as well. So what it will do is, uh, as we discussed, it will just replace like each pixel location with average of uh, its neighborhood, right? So let's try to understand that uh, on this example because earlier we couldn't understand what really is happening. So this is a more concrete example here. Let's say this is an image patch. And so all the dark pixels, these are all zero. And we have like some bright pixels uh, which have value of 90, all right? So let's say this is your image patch. And let's perform filtering using this uh, box operator or bo box filter. So what will happen, you will first place this filter at this location, right? And you perform filtering. What's going to happen, you will get all zero because all these pixels are zero, right? Then this will be the next location. You move, move like towards the, uh, towards the right. And here you can see like all of these are zero. This is 90. So if you take like average, it's going to give you 10, right? Because all the other locations in the filter will become zero. Only this will give you 90. And if you divide that uh, with nine, that's going to give you 10. And you can keep doing that for all the locations. I'm not going to uh, go through all of that. Let's talk about like uh, at this location. Okay, so these three uh, on the bottom row, these are all zero and this is also zero. So if we just try to like a quick math here, we have four pixels, which are zero and we have five pixels, which are 90 which means this is going to give you like maybe a uh, 10, right? Because, okay, hold on. So you have a uh, three, four, five, that will be 450. If you divide that with nine, uh, with nine, yeah, 50, right? So, okay, so you just add these values. This will be 450 divided by nine. That's going to give you 50. Okay, so this is the, you can see like a missing pixel. Then you replace that with the average value. At this location, what's going to happen when the, the values won't change, right? Because all the neighborhood, it's the same set of values. Everything is 90. So it will still be 90. So now you can see that how the smoothening operation is being performed here. You will see like uh, at the center of this region, the values are actually not changing a lot. Most of these are still 90 because the neighborhood was 90. So the again, same is the case with like where you had all zeros. But the effect is like when you have a boundary, when you're moving from zero to 90, right? You have an edge. There you will see that uh, your filter is actually performing this smoothing operation because these values are changing. Okay. And this is uh, like uh, deliberately put there. So this is a 90 and you can see this could be an outlier. Now, if you perform smoothing, you can see like this reduced to 10, right? So in a way, if you use box filter, you're actually getting rid of these outliers. So this outlier is not present in this filtered image. All right. So this could be like noise or something, which is removed by this filtering operation. All right, so what it's doing is it's smoothing and it's trying to remove sharp features. For example, if you have edges, it will smoothen uh, the edges. So this is like a very extreme case of uh, box filtering you can see that like all these sharp features, they are uh, completely gone after box filtering.